Hi there everyone, welcome back to another perfect pairing. Coordinating simple coloring stencils are a popular way of adding personality to your embossing folder images. Let's take a look at two ways to use this unique and trendy bundle. For my first example on using a simple coloring stencil set and 3D embossing folder together, I have this bundle, which is the Hosta 3D embossing folder and simple coloring stencil set. For this bundle, the simple coloring stencil set is meant to fill in and color each of the individual leaves found in the 3D embossing folder. And before I do any embossing, I'm going to work on the simple coloring stencil first. The first thing about this simple coloring stencil and the Hosta set is that these simple coloring stencils work from foreground to background leaf. So stencil number one coordinates with the leaves that you'll see most in the foreground of your image. And then stencil three will work on the leaves further in the back. I'll use this to my advantage with some of my Altenew Crisp dye inks. And I'll do a tone on tone work with a panel of green cardstock that I have in my stash as well as the Seashore Mini Ink Cube set. Starting with Mountain Mist and a Mini Ink Blending Brush, I'm creating little gradients on each of the hosta leaves. On the same number one stencil, I've moved on to the next color in Seashore Family of Inks, and I'm working Volcano Lake to deepen some of the areas I just ink blended with Mountain Mist. On the number two stencil, I've started with a base of a Volcano Lake. And then just as previously done on stencil number one, I'll deepen certain areas of the leaves with the next darkest ink in the family of inks, and that's Lagoon. Then on the final layer, I've worked in Lagoon into the number three stencil. And then I'll deepen the leaves with Emerald, the final ink in Seashore family of inks. And then once I remove the simple coloring stencil, I'm left with a one layer background that's beautiful on its own. But really the real magic happens when you use the coordinating 3D embossing folder to add the finishing touch and texture to your simple colored background with the stencils. Aligning your 3D embossing folder to your simple colored image is just as easy as looking through the stencil and looking for key reference points such as the outline of the hosta leaves. And once I have seemingly perfect alignment, I can run this through my manual die cutting machine following my embossing folder sandwich. And now I'm not only left with a beautifully colored image, now there's also coordinating texture within my background. Now that we have this done, we can actually take it a step further. All I have to do is lock my background panel onto the non-text side of my 3D embossing folder. And then on the text side of my 3D embossing folder, I can do a little bit of letterpress technique. Using the Lagoon ink pad, I can do some direct inking techniques onto the raised portions of my 3D embossing folder. And then after ensuring that my background panel is locked onto the non-text side, I can run this through my manual die cutting machine again. And now what I'm left with is deeper veining on the hosta leaves. I'm going to take this one step further with the next darkest ink in Seashore Family of Inks, and I'll use Emerald to deepen the veins that are found on the outside edge of my background. And now my background panel has truly come to life just with the help of some simple coloring stencils and my 3D embossing folder. You can certainly leave this as is and make a beautiful card just with the Hosta 3D embossing folder and its simple coloring stencil. But instead I'll pair this background with another simple coloring stencil and a 3D embossing folder set. New for the October 2022 release is the Imaginary Jungle Simple Coloring Stencil Set and 3D Embossing Folder Bundle. This bundle makes a similar scene to the Hosta 3D Embossing Folder and its coordinating simple coloring stencil. I feel like the images found within Imaginary Jungle will support this whimsical jungle scene that I'm trying to create on this card with the adorable bird, its supporting flowers, and then its foliage. And then of course we get the added benefit of texture with the 3D embossing folder. I will follow similar steps with this bundle as I did with the Hosta 3D embossing folder and simple coloring set. This time I'm using a white cardstock panel as my base for my simple coloring. And then starting with the number three stencil and the same mini ink blending tools as earlier, 
as well as Seashore Family of Inks. On this number three stencil, I've made a light wash of Mountain Mist. What I'm trying to color in are fully intact images, like these ones. And I will omit images that may be cut off in my panel, such as these two foliage images. So then just as before, I will deepen the foliage with the next darkest color in Seashore. So now I'll use Volcano Lake to deepen the stems and the base of the leaves using my mini ink blending tool on the simple coloring stencil. And once I have a nice little gradient, I'll move on to the number two stencil. To support my jewel tone type color palette, I'll move on to Enchanted Garden, Family of Inks. I'm following similar steps as before, such as filling in complete images, like these flowers that won't get cut off, like these two. And then using Enchanted Garden Family of Inks, I'm creating subtle gradients within the flower petals using my mini ink blending tools. And once I have smooth gradients, I can reveal my completed flowers and foliage. And then finally, with the number one stencil, I can work on coloring in the main bird image. I will omit the whimsical circles that surround the foliage in my background. And in order to color in the bird, I will use Fall Harvest, Crisp Dye Ink Family. I will start with a gradient of butternut on the main body image, followed by a slight gradient of pumpkin pie. And then I'll remove the stencil and layer up the beak image and wing. Then I will use yellow ochre and a little touch of Sicilian amber to color in the beak and wing of the bird image. I will wait to color in the eye. After removing the Altenew masking tape, I can use the Imaginary Jungle 3D embossing folder. And just like the Hosta bundle, I'm looking through the stencil, ensuring all of my images line up with the embossed details on the 3D embossing folder. And again, once I feel like I have perfect alignment, I can run this through my manual die cutting machine on the embossing folder sandwich. And after simple coloring and running it through my 3D embossing folder, I'm left with a panel full of texture and color. I will only be using pieces of this panel to assemble my card. So what I'm going to need is a good pair of fussy cutting scissors. And as best as I can, I'm going to fussy cut each of the stenciled images that I just made and embossed to start building my scene on my card. Now that all my pieces are fussy cut, I'm using Jet Black Altenew Artist Marker to fill in the embossed eye of the bird. Now I can start assembling all of my pieces onto my hosta background, which I've already glued onto a folded note card base. I won't replicate the scene exactly as it was on the 3D embossing folder. I'll change up the arrangement a little bit and glue down my pieces with some instant dimension foam tape. I pieced together the imaginary jungle pieces as well as a versatile greetings die cut sentiment. And then the last thing I'm adding to the scene is a few splatters from pure white ink spray and an Altenew water brush. And then I'll finish this really textural scene featuring two simple coloring stencils with their coordinating embossing folders. My series encourages you to shop your existing Altenew stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the Altenew channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Perfect Pairing episode with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there, crafty friend Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials are just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.